Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I'm super excited about this video. It is a speed round featured members video. So this is where I feature my Bolo Buddies members, but typically I show you their channels and I kind of go at a slower pace and walk you guys through everything. This is a speed round. They will get a shout out. Um, so all of them will be listed down in the description of the video. So their eBay stores and their YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna shout them out. So take a little note, if you see an item that interests you and you're like, oh, I wanna know more about that channel and check the description after the video because these channels are amazing. They have awesome eBay stores. So again, these are members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're interested in joining and being a part of that, you can hit the join button. It is right here. And if you don't see it, you can find that down in the description of the video. That's all we're gonna talk about it now. We are going to get right into 31 big money bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items are unexpected, big money, amazing. You guys are going to love this. It is a great way to learn. Let me know in the comments if you like the speed round video. All right, this is the bonus video. If you want to see part one and part two of their other big money bolos, each of those have two bolos from each member. There's... um. It's a little bit longer in the beginning where I share their channel and their bolo. And then I have a speed round at the end of that, which is what gave me this idea. So bonus video speed round, here we go. All right, now the first item, are you ready? This one comes from eBay store, Electric Garage. Let me see, I think that's, whoop, Electric Garage sale, sorry. Um, it is this vintage 1937 John Deere tractors. It's a tin oil can bank, you guys. Look how cool this is. He got this um, at a estate clean out. So he didn't pay. Let me make sure my screen shares up. I'm sorry. I recorded a video the other night and I forgot to pull up my screen share. So I'm ultra paranoid right now. So estate sale clean out. So what he does, he goes into estate sales, he cleans them out and he gets the stuff free. So cost of goods was labor, his time, which, you know, time is money. And best offer of $129.95 on this John Deere 10 bank. So I'm going to tell you, number one, John Deere can be a bolo. And number two, 10 cans can be a bolo. I do have a category video on 10 cans to be on the lookout for. So go check that out. This one's from Butterfly Hustles. And I have sold these query critters myself. Um, so when I saw this in her store, I'm like, I am definitely going to feature it now. I will tell you that they range from bread and butter to big money. This is what they look like on the bottom. Um, most of them are kind of, you know, I don't want to say major bread and butter because some of them can go for 30, 40 bucks, which I feel like is good margins. She got this at a Salvation Army for $3.50 and it sold for $76.50 plus shipping. And this guy is a little bigger, but it just kind of depends on the model and what the shape is. They have like um, other animals. They have like children and stuff like that. So definitely look it up if you find one. This vintage Tonka Turbo diesel cement mixer truck. That was a mouth full. Um, this is by Gail's New and Vintage. And she got this at an auction for $35 and sold it for $89.99. So these old Tonka trucks, some of them can be decent value and some of them not so much. So you definitely want to look them up. Um, the next item comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter, you guys. And this is a sterling silver vanity set. How amazing is this? Look at the little bluebirds. So this is sterling, you guys. So, so amazing. Um, she got this at a auction for $25. And I watched her what sold video and she did have like the uh, the fee for the buyer's premium, I think is what it's called. I don't do a lot of auctions um, that she had to pay on top of the $25, but she ended up selling this for $124.99 plus shipping. So very, very beautiful, very cool item. The next item comes from Thrifty Nurse and it is a Bible, you guys, and it is a Thompson chain reference Bible. She got this for $1 at a thrift store and she sold it for $150 on Mercari. 
You guys, she is, she does amazing on Mercari. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, I highly recommend it. I do have a video that teaches you guys how to sell on Mercari. It's on this channel if you want to check it out. And then I also have a code that you guys can sign up with and you'll get a coupon when you sign up. And then when you sell your first hundred dollars worth of stuff, you get another coupon. And then they also give me a coupon. So if you guys use my referral code that's down in the description, I would greatly appreciate it. All right. The next item is these antique 19th century Delft, Delft, I think is how you say it, hand-painted soldier ceramic tiles. Look at these, you guys. I will tell you that Toledo Antique finds some of the coolest stuff that I have never seen before in my life. So this one comes from Toledo Antique. They got these for $2 each. So cost of goods is, there's six items. So what does that equal, you guys? $12. Uh, they got it at an estate sale and it got one bid of $99.99. All right. The next item comes from Flippin' It Good. And this is a rail train Union Pacific diesel engine loco sound locomotive. Now, what he said is he picked these up on Facebook Marketplace, a big lot of trains. He paid $100 for 40 trains. He said eight of them were locomotives like this. So I think the locomotives sell for more. And then he said about 32 of them he sold for between $20 and $40. So that is a really fantastic return on $100. This one came from Chosen Goods Reseller. It is a Jim Shore Scottish Santa ornament, you guys. It's an ornament. It's an ornament. And she got this at a church sale for $0.25 cents and sold it for $29.35 plus shipping. You guys, this is just a small ornament that sold for $30 plus shipping. That's amazing. The next item comes from It's All Goods. And I did not get the information back on this of what she sold it for and what she paid for it. But check this thing out, you guys. It is Chuck E. Cheese. And I will tell you that Chuck E. Cheese items can definitely be a bolo. This one is super cool. It sold for $124.99. Um, it says Showbiz Pizza. So cool. Um, a rock of fire explosion, Mitzi figure plush doll. So I guess her name's Mitzi. The next item comes from um it's Vandy's Closet on Poshmark, but she goes by the Thrifty Broad on YouTube. And she sold this handmade women's sweater for $50 on Poshmark. And she picked this up at the Goodwill for $6.75. So it's just pretty plain, really, you guys. And it sold for 50 bucks. So pretty cool bolo. The next item was sold by a little bluebird. And they are lions. They're velvet lions. And they are signed. And they are vintage paintings, you guys. Very, very cool. Um, it looks like it's just signed with a B, which is interesting. And she got these at the Goodwill Bins, which is where you buy things by weight for $1. And they sold for $84.20 plus shipping. The next item comes from Donatella Bottolino. And she, she dug this out of the trash, you guys. So she's been doing dumpster diving videos with her girls over on her channel. And they are super fun videos. So check those out. But she trash picked this. I think it was actually, I think there's video footage of it, if I remember correctly. But it's a um, CapTel captioned telephone for hearing impaired. And you guys, it's new old stock. It was just in the trash. At, I don't understand why people throw this stuff away. Anyway, she sold it for $70 with free shipping. Very, very cool. And her YouTube channel is her name. It's Donatella Bottolino. This one comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity eBay store. She has amazing bolos. This is a koala bear. And it is Silver Deer Christmas Animals Collection by Tom Rubble. And she has sold a bunch of Tom Rubble for big money. It's just amazing to me what this stuff sells for. She got this for $5 at an estate sale and sold it for $115. The next item comes from... Uh, the Rebel Reseller, and these are Lego Duplo Wild Farm Animals lot, you guys. It's a bunch of Duplo farm animals. So these are not the small Legos. These are kind of like the, the medium-sized ones, the Duplos. Um, I believe they are marked Duplo on the bottom. And she got these a whole 
bunch of these, a whole tote full for 40 bucks. And she pulled out all of these animals and sold these for a best offer of 100 plus shipping. The next item was sold by Nikki Love Snacks. And this is a dress slip, you guys, a pageant dress slip for a little girl. It's a size 5'6". And this sold for $75 and she got it at a thrift store for $3.99. So I don't know if you guys know, but toddler dresses can be a big money bolo. If you can sit it and it will flare out into a full circle like this, please take a photo and make that your main photo. That is highly sought after and will increase what you can get for the item. Again, this is just a slip that goes underneath the dress. The next item that sold is this vintage Lionel Train Master Train Multi-Control Transformer. I have no idea what any of that means, but this is what it looks like. For those of you that are into this stuff, look for this. Um, he got this at a church sale for $25 for five boxes of stuff, and he sold this for $70 plus shipping. The next item is this Laurel Birch Cat figurine from 1999. This was sold by Antiques and Wandering Creek. She got it in an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $85. Here is the information on the bottom. I know that Laurel Birch is collectible. I've seen some jewelry by her. I've also seen purses by her. So if you see Laurel Birch on anything, definitely look it up. The next item comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313. That's her eBay store. And this is a Santa baby. It is a vintage new old stock 1962 Shackman Sleepy Santa Baby doll. It has the box, which I don't see a picture of the box. So that would be one thing I would recommend is to show the box because it does say in box. And as a collector, I think that if it's an original box, that may be something that a collector would be looking for. But um, she sold this for, she bought it in a box lot of things. And her approximate cost of goods was 50 cents and it sold for full price in one week for $133.13. The next item is MGTF 1500 Far Faribo, Faribo, I don't know how to say it, F-A-R-I-B-O blanket. It's a car green fleece throw made in England. She got it out of a storage unit and uh, paid $3 for it and sold it for $90. This one comes from Yard Sales and Dreams. Definitely check out her YouTube channel. You guys, all of these channels are linked below. They have great content. They are bolo finders. You will learn a ton. Um, this may look familiar to some of you guys. I actually got one of these out. It might be this exact one out of a uh, dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. Um, mine did not sell for this much. Maybe I underpriced it. I think it was the same one, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it was that blue color. I don't know. Does anybody remember that watches my channel <laughs> on a regular basis? Was this the same one? Okay, so this was sold by Auctions for You, which is funny because Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino are uh, partners. They go back and forth on each other's YouTube channels. So it's funny that T had some of these cars also. She got this out of a storage unit and she sold it for $110.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Noel. Um, YouTube channel is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And this is a fairy lamp. It's a Fenton Birth of, the, Birth of a Savior, the announcement, 1999, limited edition fairy lamp. And um, this is amazing. She got it at an estate sale. She bought the whole room. So she has pennies in this, you guys, pennies. And she sold it for $210. And that is amazing. So definitely be on the lookout. This one came from Mindful Recycle. It is a huge vintage Wagner Ware Sydney O Magnolite large roaster, 4269 with lid, no trivet. And she got this at an estate sale for 12 bucks and sold it for $224 plus shipping. So here you go. This is what you're looking for on the bottom. Look those words up and the solds and you will find comps very easily. The next item was sold by One Stop Shop 59. It is a Fenton glass horse. Um, it's a figurine, you guys. It's hand painted 
This is what it looks like on the bottom. It looks like it originally retailed for $46.50. It is retired. And she got this at an estate buyout for $1 and sold it for $76.71. Buyer paid shipping. The next item is by Neat Finds by Naomi. It's an MCM vintage lipper and man ceramic white and black stripe cat. Now, I know in one of my last videos, um, I believe it was Mindful Recycle sold something that was Lipper and Man. So that must be a pretty good uh, brand to be sourcing for. So this is what it looks like. Made in Japan. Awesome. I love Made in Japan items. They're just so unique and different. Um, she got this at an auction for 8 bucks and sold it for $142.34 and it sold in three months. The next item comes from Philly Flipper, and he said he has seen two or three of these at yard sales. I don't know if he bought all three, um, but he bought this one. Uh, I think he said they go anywhere between $40 and $70, and he got this at a yard sale for 5 bucks, and he sold it for $70. It's the Vintage Avon Spice Set. It's a 12-piece set, ceramic cottage house with the rack. If you guys want to know more Bolo items that are Avon that sell, I do have a category video on that. This one came from Franklin Hills Ventures. He did pay up for this. He paid $45 for it. Um, but I just think this is amazing. This one's a hippo. He also sold, I believe it was a tiger. But look how cute these are. Again, just so delicate and just the details. I just love it. But he sold it for $100 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh, I'm sorry. Free shipping on that. The next item comes from Be Carried Away, and I just love this one because I would have walked right past it. It is Acorn Wool Fisherman Sweater St. Bernard Dog Mock Neck Cable Knit Cottage Core. So Be Carried Away has amazing um, keywords. That's one thing that she is known for. But look at this sweater, you guys. Would you have walked past it or bought it? Let me know in the comments. She got it at a Salvation Army for $2 and it sold for a best offer of $60 free shipping. Oh, I'm sorry. Free local pickup, buyer pays shipping. So buyer paid shipping. The next item comes from uh, Money Making Mama. And again, I did not get the information from her back today. So I apologize. I don't know where she got it and what she paid for it. If I had to guess, she picked this up at Dirt Cheap. What she does is she buys things in bulk at this place called Dirt Cheap. And it's retail arbitrage, but discounted prices. And then she lots them up and sells them for a profit. So definitely check out her channel for more information. The next item comes from Jack's Treasures. They picked this hat up in a storage unit. It is a Polo Sport Ralph Lauren. You guys, anything vintage Ralph Lauren, look it up. I recommend doing an auction on vintage Ralph Lauren because some of it can just go crazy. There is a a lot of collectors out there for this brand. Um, they took a best offer, but I don't know what the best offer was. I apologize. I didn't get that information for you. So, um, but definitely a bolo. The next item are these precious moments, kneeling Santa at the manger musical collectible figurine. And this was sold by anytime picker and he got it at the Goodwill for $7 and 19 cents. And he sold it for 134 10. So it is a little music box, you guys. Look how cute it is. And it's got the original box. And that I would not have known. I definitely, I guess we need to be looking up precious moments because that is crazy. The next item comes from Reselling with Honey. Um, this is an Anna Lee doll. This one is pretty big. Um, it's a white reindeer Christmas deer buck. Um, it's vintage and it's large. Now, Anna Lee ranges from bread and butter to big money. It just depends on what you find. But if you look at this face and the painting on it, Anna Lee, once you've seen it, you will not forget it. They also have a tag. This one's got a little bit of damage there and some stains. But overall, for being white, it looks pretty darn good. I'm trying to find the tush tag. Well, most of them have a tag that says Anna Lee and it will typically be dated. So um, that will help you research the item. But she got this at a yard sale for 20 bucks. It sold um, for $194.99 auction style and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I said that was reselling with Honey YouTube channel. 
All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. This is my Bolo Buddies channel. I just hit 12,000 subscribers. For all of you that are subscribed and watch on a regular basis, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell. That will alert, will alert you when I post new videos. Right here is the join button. Um, I know you can see it on your computer. Sometimes you can't see it on your phone. If you would like to become a member, there's three different levels. To be in the featured members video, you have to join at level two. Um, if you want an additional share, you can join at level three. Um, there's more information on that down in the description of the video as well. But be sure to check out all of these channels, all of these eBay stores. They are amazing. And you guys are amazing. I thank you all so much. Drop me a comment. Um, how about an emoji of, is there a phone emoji? If there's not a phone emoji, how about a owl emoji? All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about the speed round. Should I keep this up? Do you like this type of video? Um, again, everybody still got a shout out, but we moved a little bit quicker. So we're going to call it the speed round. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.